the business needs a zebra onesie. Let me say that one more time so you get it. For those at the back, your business needs a zebra onesie. All right, so today, obviously, I am not dressed in what would typically be called professional clothing, okay? And there's a whole host of uh, opinions out there about whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But one of the things I've noticed and the feedback from the Greater Life community is that they've really appreciated how I have been recently drawing on experiences in my life, such as Tinder car crashes and the like, to bring out valuable points about how to level up your hustle, okay? Um, and if you're not familiar with what we're doing with Greater Life, it is we are supporting entrepreneurs over 50 to build a greater life across what we call the four pillars of health, happiness, home, and hustle. And my recent series of videos have all been about how we build up that hustle pillar, okay? And today is no different. So I read an amazing article on LinkedIn. Uh, you can definitely check it out. Uh, I think it was originally on Twitter. Um, uh, on Twitter, it was from a guy called Trung T. Fan. Uh, it's all about Red Bull. Uh, and I, sh I read it from a guy called Timothy Amu on uh, LinkedIn. Uh, definitely recommend checking it out. And what uh, the, the kind of the principle was that Red Bull, much earlier than most and much more effectively than most, recognized how to leverage and gather to them the world's most valuable commodity. And it is something that my zebra onesie does for me every day, whether I want to or not, whether I like it or not. And so what we're talking about here is attention, human attention, eyeballs, focus, okay? That in our age of the personal brand, in our digitally collect connected global world, attention is the single most valuable commodity on the planet. Because what it means is, if someone gives you their attention, there is an opportunity to turn that attention into awareness that you can help them solve the problem they have, and then into action that they then invest in your offer to help them solve the problem that they have, okay? So, attention, awareness, action, okay? That's the journey, all right? And so if right now your business has nothing that would be like a zebra onesie, so I walk down the street, I walk into Falmouth's launchpad building, and immediately, whether they want to or not, people start looking at me. And this is not something I'm trying to do deliberately. I just happened to be wearing this this morning because I threw it on and didn't have time to jump in the shower. So I'm about to do that, right? The principle here is that I have something that brings attention to me, okay? Equally for yourself, the question becomes, what do you have? What are the assets within your business that can bring attention to what you do? So one of the best examples from Red Bull is Felix Baumgartner's like, you know, ridiculous skydive from 128,000 feet. That cost Red Bull $50 million to pull off. But estimates suggest that they gained in excess of $6 billion in awareness, right? In people knowing about what they do and about the Red Bull brand, right? So look at the payoff. But most people are just nowhere near ready to invest $50 million in the hope of a $6 billion payoff. But what we are seeing time and time and time and time again is that the more you are willing to invest in gaining the attention of your prospects so that you can then turn that attention into awareness and into ultimately buying action, the more you're willing to invest in getting that attention up front, the more successful you're going to be. Okay, so that's the question I leave you with today as I'm starting to get ridiculously hot in this and it's time to uh, put on some professional clothing. What could be or what might be your business's zebra onesie? How can you start to gather more attention for your business than others are willing to invest in and pay for? All right, see you next time.